I'm eating in a local Temple Street night market and we're eating scallops and vermicelli noodles. This is a house specialty here. It can be found just when you get inside the gates. One thing I could say about all seafood in Hong Kong is it's all fresh and that is delicious. So I'm a little bit hungover from last night, late night, so we're gonna go try the famous Hong Kong black tea in that place. I'm in, I'm in Tai Chi in the Mong Kok area on Nathan Road having the famous Hong Kong milk style tea. Apparently the tea was great for hangovers. That's not too bad. <laughs> a great way to chill your day when you're on Victoria Peak is a mocha brownie from Pacific Coffee. I'm in Tai Ho cooking the traditional egg waffles. <laughs> okay, on top, yeah? Yep. Yes. Turning one more time. And this is vanilla, vanilla flavored, yeah? Yeah, it's electronic. In city, electronic, yeah, yes. boring. Boring, yeah, yeah. Boring, very boring. This is taste. <laughs> Perfect. Nice eggy, sugary, flowery. Could use some cream, some strawberries, or just plain. One high five. Yay. Boom! So I'm here eating noodles in a local area, Prince Edward. Wonton soup used to be my favorite when I was younger in Canada. And it's always been kind of something I wanted to try when I got to Hong Kong. The noodles are very al dente and tasty. The broth is a nice chicken slash prawn broth, I believe. And I put a little bit of vinegar in there to get some acidity going. We're at Mason 8, here with the general manager, Ryan. He's gonna make us one of the signature cocktails they have going on here. What cocktail are you gonna be making us? I'm gonna be making a twist on the Negroni, 10 grade 10. The Rosso. Ready to go? Okay. Go for it. It's very smooth. Uh, nice and cold. I can smell and taste everything. Camera's not on. This thing is gone in a second. Yes. Um, it's very smooth. So this is the Korean street in Hong Kong. We are going to Moon Down Noon, a famous barbecue spot that um, Kit from Mason 8 told us to go into. Let's cut some of this up. We're cooking everything and we're making lettuce wraps. This is something I've always wanted to make in the restaurant. Um, and to do it properly, I think is a fine art. Look at this, we're getting instructions. Boom, slap that in there, baby. So high five to that one. High five. Yeah. Okay. Fine with your chopstick? <laughs> yeah, watch this. Am I fine with my chop? I'm a chopstick master. I'm a master, am I? Here is Carmen. We're in Tahoe. We're gonna cook some local fish on the Chargo barbecue. Just cooking fresh fish here, and it's on char krill. So about five minutes, then we're gonna turn. So we're gonna flip it one more time there. So we're taking the skin off. Oh wow, that's the love. Mmm. The sauce. Yes. Mmm. Nice meaty fish, similar to sea bass. Really lovely. Fresh, fresh as can be. So we're in the Lac Phuong district, and we're gonna go into the famous. Young Key restaurant, 75 years old. Dry shrimp dumplings. Yeah. Uh, shrimp with uh, bamboo soup. Shrimp with bamboo shoots. Uh, wow. Shrimp with pork dumplings. And shrimp with pork dumplings. Yes. Wow. Nice. Nice big pieces of shrimp in it. You can tell the shrimp and seafood around here is very fresh because all the juices of the shrimp end up right inside the dumpling, which makes it good. So you can tell the shrimp has been cooked inside and it stays fresh. Tasting up the pork and shrimp dumplings with mushrooms. Again, I think they really maximize the flavor here with all the pork going through there and the dumplings brings the salt and the mushrooms all together. Good. It's a minced pork and deep fried dumpling. Very um, crusty. A bit of a sweet flavor. Obviously, I think from the pork has been a bit, a bit sweet. And um, yeah, a bit like a, you know, I can compare it to um, 
a minced pork pie from back home. So we got pork here, we got beef here, we got hot pot here. Now this is one place you need to come and eat at, the Drunken Hot Pot. Drunken Hot Pot. Wow, some langoustines or prawns, and as you can see, they're actually still alive. I'm gonna be cooking live langoustines. It doesn't get any fresher than this. Basically what we have here is five different broths. We have the papaya and prawn broth. We have the bone marrow broth. We have a satay broth. We have lobster broth, which is amazing. And then we have the, the Szechuan spicy broth. I think I'm gonna try this one. Oh, here goes nothing. So the textures I'm tasting here, the broth really made the beef come alive. Um, we're gonna try some pork here this time. This one's a little bit more fatty, and I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just drop it in, I'm gonna let it cook for a while. I'm just gonna crack it once. So we're just finishing up here at the Drunken Hot Pot. It's located in the Tim Zatzoi area. So if you're looking for a great fusion of hot pots, this is the one.